man of God, Apostle Daniel Kafo, he gave me a prophecy that something happened to me three days ago. The prophecy was very true. I slept and I, as if I'm dreaming, but all I could remember is I wet my bed. I quickly rushed to the washroom. You're welcome to Jesus on the Throne International Ministry. Tell us your name and where you are coming from. Jesus on the Throne. My name is Joyce Amadegbe. I'm coming from Dodoa here. Share with us your wonderful testimony. My testimony goes like this. On the year 2018, December 31st, I received a serious attack. I almost lost my life. And I saw my spirit leaving my body. I can feel it. I have to hold on my husband so tightly. So it happened so fast. That, that time, in fact, I plead for God for mercy. And Jesus Christ answered my prayer. He has shown me mercy. He has forgiven me all my sin and given me another chance. So I'm here to testify to the glory of God, to thank Jesus for what he has done for me that faithful day. So you said in the year 2018, you went through a very devastating moment that almost took your life. And how did it affect your life? It has affected me in the way that I, could, I will not sit in the midst of, midst of people like this. My heart will be beating fast. I, will have the, I have this spirit of fear. Each time the voice will be telling me that I'm going to die, I'm going to die. It came to a point I couldn't sleep at all. So the whole night I will be there, not sleeping. It has affected me, giving me depression. So we have to go to visit the hospital. And the doctor had to give me a, a sleeping tablet for me to be taking. Even when taking the uh, medication at a time, in fact, I feel so confused that I have to stop before we learn about Jesus on the throne on the year 2020. And me and my husband, we visited. After visiting Jesus on the throne, what happened to this spirit of fear and depression you were going through? In fact, that day after I received prayer and, and also prophecy, I, when I got home, I feel free, light, I was able to sleep very well. So since that day up to now, do you still have the fear that you were going to die? That fear is no longer there. I'm free, free, I'm free, I'm free. Thank you, Jesus, for setting me free. And also, that day meeting with man of God, Apostle Daniel Kafo, he gave me a prophecy that something happened to me three days ago. So I said, yes, something happened. So on that, uh, the prophecy was very true. I slept and I, as if I'm dreaming, but all I could remember is I wet my bed. I quickly rushed to the washroom. And I, wake, I wake up my husband, I told him that I wet my bed. He said, I, couldn't, I didn't pray before I slept. That's why, why that thing happened to me. And man of God gave me that prophecy. That prophecy that day, receiving prayer with man of God, that thing has never happened to me. Wetting the bed has never happened to me since then. Celebrate Jesus! So that embarrassment, Jesus Christ took it out through a message of prophecy and prayer. She said she, she woke up, she realized that she has wet her bed. When she came, she received a message of prophecy. And since that day, that embarrassment has never happened to her. Put your hands together for Jesus. What about the depression? What is going on in your heart now? In fact, now I'm free, free. I know that one day if God called me now, I'm going to the kingdom of God. So now I have no any fear at all. I free, I'm free, I feel free. I'm happy to the glory of God. Thank you, Jesus. With what God Almighty has done for you, what is your promise to God? I promise God that I, I worship him for the rest of my life. And what advice can you give to viewers and people watching you all over the world? My advice to the viewers watching me is for you to put your trust in God. There is nothing too impossible for God Almighty to do. As he has done it for me, setting me free from the spirit of death, 
on that faithful 2018 31st, God can still do a wonders and giving everyone another chance. So believe in God, believe in servants. Apostle Daniel Carfo. Put your hands together for Jesus. God has given us a servant. Believe in God through his servant and your life will never be the same again. We thank God for this beautiful testimony and we advise that continue to live in obedience and dedication so that one day when eyes close, you make the kingdom of God at last because kingdom of God is our reward. There is no reward here on earth. Put your hands together. Thank you, Jesus, for giving me life. Thank you, Jesus, for healing me, for setting me free.